Hello everyone, welcome back to TechIt. Um, we are back on the server. Uh, right now, as you can see, I'm in the nether. Uh, I think it was two days ago, Akira did a complete reset of the nether because um, we had uh, Nicolite ore in the nether and there is like literally no use for Nicolite ore whatsoever in this entire mod pack. And Akira didn't like that, so he just decided to reset the entire nether to get rid of it and uh, he also increased ore spawns. So as you can see, uh, there are many more ores spawning than there were before. And I decided to take advantage of that by uh, building this digital miner. I already had one in my house, and these are actually really, really cool. I think, I think I'm actually going to use these from now on instead of uh, quarries. But uh, anyway, the way that these work are or is, um, you can have, it's the reset button, so I'll just go ahead and stop this right now. We can't pull up the config, damn. Actually, here, I think I can... Remove it. There we go. And then we will just put it down right there. Nope. I'm going to move it one back. Alright. So we'll do... Nope. Uh-oh. Did it crash? Don't crash. Did we get... Oh. Did I just... I hope I didn't duplicate this. Okay, well anyway, um, this is a digital miner. As you can see, uh, it is eject off, pull off. Wait, I want to see. Let's see, config. That is not the right one. That's that doesn't actually exist. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. Okay, uh, we're back. So anyway, uh, the way this works is, I think I might have actually accidentally duped it, so I'm gonna have to give that to Kira. Uh, but anyway, so this is the way it works. It has eject, pull, silk. So these are the different options. This is reset the config. Um, I already have it set up. But uh, anyway, auto eject. If you have that on, then it will eject. There is actually, let's just go ahead and put this one down for use. Uh, there is a the black square right here. That is where if auto eject is on, then it will eject items out of there. If not, it will use this internal inventory to store them until you pull them out. Uh, auto pull. Where is auto pull? This one. Actually, let's just turn that off. Auto pull. Uh, means uh, if you have an item here, so it replace block, let's say you have uh, netherrack in there. So every time it mines an ore, then it will replace that ore with this block. So as long as you keep it uh, filled. You can either do it by filling up this inventory uh, or uh, having a an inventory on top of here with this square. And if uh, auto pull is on, then it will pull from the inventory on top. The problem is this inventory right here is shared between... Um, ores and the filling material so if it fills up completely the machine just completely seizes up so you don't want to do that and then also there is silk touch so you can have either silk touch on or silk touch off that was very cool with that and if we go uh, and look at this machine then we can see or if we go to the config then you, the maximum radius is 32 then you can tell what y levels you want it to mine to so i'm going from 0 to y128 i don't know what inverse does but i don't care because i don't need it uh, item filter you do item stack put an item in there so let's say you wanted to have netherrack click save and then it will now look for netherrack i'll just go ahead and delete that because i don't want netherrack so it will uh, look for netherrack and then it will look for all these items so I, I went through and got every single ore from the nether and put it in here. And then I also use the ore dictionary function. And if you do that and do ore, save that, then it will look for any block that has the word ore in the name. And it will mine that as well. So uh, that's what that means. And then, so it's looking for all these. And I'm also getting glowstone and then the ore dictionary. So that's all working there. Silk touch is on. Eject is on. Pull is off because I'm not going to bother replacing it. Let's go ahead and do start. And as you can see, there are 42,000 blo 42, well, one blocks that it is going to mine in the 32 by 32 area. So uh, that is what that means. So I'll just go ahead and fill this up. Doop, doop. All right. So that, I'm just going to go ahead and let this go. Um, my portal's right here. So let's go ahead and head back to my house because today we're going to be building the fusion reactors. And depending on how long that takes... Hopefully I'll be able to cut out me building them and just actually get them up and running because I want to try and get my ore processing up and running at my new house too. Or even though I most likely won't. Oh god, I forgot how loud it is in here. But anyway, uh, I spent some time getting some stuff made. Uh, this is stuff for the new computer, Tinker's Construct stuff. Um, this is for, I'm going to need to use rotary condensators. This is used for turning gas into liquid and vice versa. So I'm going to have a bunch of these... Uh, electrolytic separators pumping out hydrogen and oxygen and I'm going to liquidize the hydrogen and oxygen and then turn it into gas as needed so that way I can store more of it. 
So that's what uh, these are going to be for. Uh, Tinker's Construct stuff. I uh, have it all right here, and then I'll get that set up in the new house in the Applied Sciences area. Um, I guess we have a, another digital miner off to tell us here about that. Um, and then this is everything that we are hopefully everything that we're going to need for the reactor. Might actually need a little bit more glass. I don't know. Nope, oh, nope. It's glass. There we go. Hmm, guess I didn't make very much. Oh, let's just go ahead and put the rest in here. So, uh, this it looks like everything that we're going to need. Of course, we have five fusion reactors, um, five chemical extractors. I think it's 560 electromagnets, um, 400, no, 400 something electric turbines. I forgot what it is. And then I also made uh, 25 ultimate energy cubes. And then those are just that, 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 and that. So they take, take a while to make a bunch of ender, ender energy conduit, some facades, uh, and pressurized fluid conduit, which is very nice. The ender IO stuff is just amazing. Some glass. Uh, I made four drums of deuterium just to get the reactors up and running so we won't have to wait for it to uh, get spooled up. And then some reservoirs. Actually, was I making more reservoirs? I thought I made more. Oh, yep, there go my lasers. They are a fire in. I thought I was going to make more reservoirs than that. Hmm. Huh. Ah, oh, well, okay, so let's go ahead and package this up and bring it to our house. You can do that by... Nope, 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 damn it. Come here. Box that up. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I need to figure out how to use this. Okay, so... Do that. No, son of a bitch. Eh. That. And then I can... Break it. Okay. And if we go to our new house, I also uh, filled it in. But, uh, yeah, that should be everything. I filled it in. Let's go over here. Uh, it's Right now, it's just all basalt, so it looks really... Oh, wait, key bindings, that. There we go. Right now, uh, and then I also got some uh, barley for fixing that. What is... Okay. It's all uh, dark because... Well, yeah, it's all basalt. Let's go and turn on full bright. Uh, this this is what it looks like. This so far this is our house. I am going to decorate it because I don't want to live in just a you know a black square. So uh, this is what it is going to look like. Uh, we are oh, let's go ahead and put this right there. Get that off it, and there we go. So good, we have everything included with it. All right, so we have all this stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and get the first reactor set up. I think we're going to need that and that to make some electromagnetic glass. Like that, I don't know how much I'm going to need, but on dirt for building purposes. So, uh, this is the center point of the house, which is going to be the center point of our first reactor. So, we're going to want it to be. Uh, and then also, there is a uh, bedrock below here. So, this is where it's going to be like the maintenance tunnel. Okay, so it's going to be there. Uh, it's going to be reactor glass. Okay, so the reactor is actually going to be right there. So, uh, what am I doing? Oh, right. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the first uh, reactor layout set up, and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. All right, so this is the basic design of the reactor. Um, it's not my design, per se. I'm kind of copying it from Nash. I did have my own design um, that I was actually going to use that put out about 12,000 RF per tick, and it's actually very small. It used about half the amount of resources that this one does. Um, but a uh, uh, bit of a problem with the single player worlds in this mod pack. They seem to get corrupted very easily, so I actually went through four different single player worlds just trying to get the thing built, and every time I got it close to being done and uh, ready for testing, it would just completely crash, and the world would perma crash every time I tried to load it. So I'm just going to copy this one from Nash. So Basically, the way that these work is the reactor sits. Oh, the reactor sits in the middle. Let's just toss that down there. Right here, this is where the reactor is going to sit, uh, and it generates a plasma, which goes to the inside of these magnets. It's actually, easier if we go down here, uh, this is a little viewing area that I'm going to have in the uh, maintenance bay. But uh, it generates plasma in the in between the electromagnetic glass and the magnets right here. So it's going to be three by three here, three by three over here, three by three over here, and then a three by three over here, and then this little tunnel all the way around. Um, Nash has electromagnetic glass at that corner and 
That corner on the top, I think it's to maintain... Let's get rid of that. The, uh source water blocks, but I'm not sure. If it's not, then I'll just go ahead and replace those with magnets and stick some turbines up there. So, uh, yeah, and then that's what it has, and then you just pipe the deuterium and power the reactor from either below or above. So I'm going to go, there's a chest. I'm going to go ahead and build the, uh, uh, what am I going to make? The ring around this to hold the water. I'm just going to use glass because I want to be able to see going to be observation for applied sciences. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get this made, and then I will come back when uh, I get this one completely done, and we'll fire it up and see if it works. All right, so I think this uh, exterior design for the glass should work with the turbines that I'm putting on. A uh, little note, you don't actually need um, anything right here. You, uh, you could actually just build the base out from here, just connect it to this block, because... Uh, it does not generate heat next to uh, electromagnetic glass, only the electromagnets. So anything next to glass will actually not generate uh, steam from the water, so you don't actually need it. But uh, I just decided to do it anyway because it looks better. Oh, wait. How do I... Infinite water bucket unless you drink from it. So how do I... How do I activate this? Do I, do I click? Do I need more water? Do I not bring water? This is supposed to be an infinite water bucket. What WTF, mate? I need to go fill it with water first, maybe? Oh, no, I just made it because everybody was talking about it. Hey, look, horsies. Okay, so it has water in it now. Then it should be infinite, right? Whee! I need to make some elevators come down here. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to fill up the bottom with water. And then... Actually, now I'm just going to... Yeah, so once we fill up the bottom with water, this is actually going to be complete... Oh, nope, didn't want to do that. Well, not yet, anyway. Go ahead and just do... Oh, crap, nope. Son of a bitch. Let's do that magnet. You go back there. Okay, so all water source blocks around here because OCD. Just do that. Should take care of this. All right, got that that got the bubbles that's source blocking source blocking source 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 that that oh no crap eh. oh shit don't want to do that either Boop. okay and then oh, got that Everything source blocked. I hear some flowing water. Make sure it all looks good. Yes, yes. Okay, so good. Now uh, we can go ahead and put the second layer of water on, which is just going to be on this part right here. So we'll just do that, that. I should fill up that. Do, do, do. Source block for that. Okay. This is a fun part. Please and control your orgasms for excitement. That, that one, that one. There, 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 there. Okay, so that should all be source blocks. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some turbines now. And put these down. I think it was like 98 turbines per reactor. I think I made enough. Well, I probably didn't. So, the way that these work is uh, it will only generate steam on magnets directly adjacent to plasma. So, plasma block is going to be... Actually, well, we'll just do... A plasma block is going to spawn right here. So, it is going to heat up this magnet and this magnet. Which means that it is going to heat up water uh, right here there one two three there there one two three because those are directly adjacent there there one two three there there one two three wait no is it on top of the magnets or adjacent to them because it's going to be on here be one above there 
Oh, I need to see if there's the right placement. Oh, so close. So then it's also going to be right here. Um, let's just get some dirt. Do that. So it's going to be right here because it is next to those magnets. Forgot about that. Let's do... No, shit. Get that back. And then block there. Turbine there. Block there. Turbine there. Block there. Turbine there. That's next to that magnet. That, although Nash, he doesn't have this middle turbine for some reason. I don't know why. If that's the case, then I don't think I made enough turbines. Might have to go back and make some more. Even though they're incredibly cheap to make. And I think I have some extra brick from when I made these. Okay, so. Let's do that. 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 And. Oh, and then one more block over here. Okay. Turn on my suit magnet. Thank you. Okay. So we got that. Uh, this is going to be the first layer. Now we need to put uh, water sources on top of these magnets. So we're going to do that, 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 and that. That should make a source there. Good. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Source there. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. That source. There, there. There, 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 and there. That's source. Okay, and then I'm going to need magnets for on the top there. So we'll just do that. Two, three. And then I'll just do this. One, two, one, two, because it's going to be the magnets on top of there. One, two, there's also a uh, problem in our, this version of Atomic Science where uh, we can't make the large turbines, but apparently, I, I don't know, I'm getting, well, that's not supposed to be like that. There we go. I'm getting like mixed messages about it because online it says large turbines are more efficient and then also says that large turbines are less efficient, which I, I don't know. To me, if you're going to go through the time to put a 3x3 three three and then turn it into a large turbine, it should at least have some benefit. But uh, then again, I don't make mods. I don't make mods for Minecraft anyway. Let's do that, that, that. Okay, so that's going to be the second layer of turbines above them. Okay, oh, didn't want to do that. Do that. That, that. That. Okay. Oh, and then I also forgot. Let's go ahead and stick the reactor in there. Hey, peanut. Do that. Stick the reactor in the middle. And then, as you can see, there's no de new deuterium. And then we'll go ahead and do this, because it's going to have water around there. And then we need to get some turbines around the middle. Do, do. Now, you don't need to put a turbine in the middle, because, uh, of course, it's right above the reactor, and that's not next to a magnet, so it's not going to be creating heat. So, I need to worry about that. Get all that back. Oh, dirt. Come here, dirt. Oh, yeah, down there. Come on, dirt. It's not coming to me. Uh, oh, it's stuck underneath. Oh, well. That's fine. So that is layer number two. Oh, let's break you. Okay, now I need to get water across these. Should source. One, two, three. Oop. One, two... Three, and then okay, so we have that. Now we can get the turbines above these. Be like that, and then there's also a turbine here. Oh no, that's glass, so there's no turbine there. And like that. Oh, oh. Just like that, and then there's a magnet there, so we can put that there. Do, do. Got that, that, no glass, or no, there is glass, so there's no turbine. Do that, 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 there, and then magnet there. Okay, so that is all of the turbines added. Many, many frames were lost in that process. Uh, 
Yeah, so that's all the turbines. Now I'm just going to hook them up with the Ender Energy Conduit right here. Probably going to need a little bit of that. Okay, so I'm going to hook this up. And now we are ready to almost turn this thing on. So uh, last thing that I want to do is two, three, four, five. Each one of these gets uh, five uh, Ultimate Energy Cubes for power storage and output. So the way that this is going to work is that that connect that to there and that to there so then I have the power leading back into the uh, reactor right there because you need to keep it powered constantly although the power is a bit negligible as far as that is concerned so um, and then since each one of these cables can only carry a uh, 20,000 about 20,000 RF per tick that's why I divided it into five separate areas so we have the one in the middle and this is going to get one cube up top and that's going to be two three, four, and five. And then, so we have that. And of course, oh, we'll just go ahead and do the cables here. And then I'm going to branch it off of there. I'll just do one cable out like that. So, and then I can always just add more. Okay, so that is one reactor done. Now all we need to do is just get it set up for uh, running. Right now we're just going to do a test run. So we don't need to do everything full. Uh, are going full, so we're not going to set up the chemical extractors because I do want to do a bit of a design thing with that. So let's go ahead and head downstairs and get this plugged in. Okay, so chemical extractor, you just need to have some pressurized fluid conduit. Oh, there's that. Just go ahead and just right click on that. That is going to be inserting into there. And then we will just go ahead and have this drum of deuterium right here. Uh, you are going to extract on redstone signal off. Right, it doesn't work like that. I forgot you have to have it pulling from the bottom of the drum. There we go. We don't need. There you go. Okay, so it doesn't pull from the bottom of the drum. How am I going to get... Eh. Crap. Um, hold on. Might as well just put here. Just put the drum here. That'll be easy. Okay, then we just do that, that, get rid of you, you, like this energy or this uh, fluid conduit because you don't need to have like any pipes or anything. Okay, so that is going to be extract, redstone signal off. It is pulling out, pumping into that. Good, right? Okay, so, and I think this can hold uh, 10 buckets. Yeah, it's about 10 buckets, so we should, this is going to last a while. Okay, so how do I get out of here now? Um, there's a hole. There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and head out. Got that. Now, all we need to do... Oh, no, actually, no, I wanted to start it from the bottom. Okay, we started from the bottom. Now we're here. Uh, get some energy conduit onto here as well, because you can use energy conduit and uh, the fluid stuff on the same area. We'll get that here, and then we have... I have this uh, fully charged ultimate energy cube. Although when I did this in single player, this is what corrupted my world twice. So let's see if this works. Uh, once we get this going in, is this fully pumped out? E yes. Okay, so that is full of deuterium. Should be 10,000 liters, even though I think it's technically millibuckets. But anyway, so if we put this up, there we go. That is going to... All right, the reactor is running, as you can hear. Let's go up. Should be starting up. Turbines. I think there is a graphical glitch where turbines don't spin. Go ahead and use our conduit probe. Any energy? Yep, okay, that's making 15,000 out of that one. 17,000. Uh, these are not connected, so this is 16,000 out of one. And, oh, oh, oh. And six. 16,000 out of two. So these are completely split down the middle, so these don't share energy. So this is outputting about uh, about 32,000 RF per tick at this point, from what I can tell. Oh, and not counting this. So this is 18,000 less. This is it's all averaging out. It's about 18,000, 18,000, 16,000. It shouldn't be splitting the difference, right? Because this is going down there. Although that one might be doing it so 16 
So I don't know if this is all shared through the same network. If it is, actually, I think it is. Yeah, it's all the same network. So, okay, so this reactor is putting out about 17,000 RF per tick. And then as you can see, these are filling up. Oh, no. These are filling up very nicely. So it's already got 9.93 megajoules, uh, which is pretty much more energy than, than I've used so far. So, yeah, there's that. Ooh. I don't know if five reactors is going to be the best idea in this house, because this one has already cut my frame rate in about half. So, you know what? I'm going to make it three reactors for now, even though I did want five. So I'll do three reactors. I'm going to get the uh, other two set up right now. So I'm going to make uh, two more reactors, get those set up up and running, and then uh, we'll come back and see how that is working. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get those reactors made, and then I will be right back. All right, everyone, I think I have everything done, and here it is. So we have the three reactors set up. Uh, this one is, of course, fully charged. These two I have not turned on yet, but hopefully I will. Um, I don't think I have fully explained reactors, but uh, uh, basically when they make the plasma, it goes into those, it's held in between the magnets, um, and you don't want the plasma to escape because it will literally destroy everything it touches. I mean, everything nothing is safe from plasma because it's as hot as the center of the sun. That's why you need the magnets to contain it. I'm only getting about 60 frames a second while looking at this. That's probably a good thing I only stuck with three. I look away and... Uh, 200? Yeah. So I guess looking at these is just things, but it's okay. I'm going to have a floor over here, so it's going to be about right. Actually, that's really tall. Wow, I didn't think it would be that tall. But anyway, so these are the three reactors. Uh, I'll just go ahead and give uh, guide you through the setup. So we have the three reactors with the uh, energy cells or the, the energy cubes and then those will lead out to the house. I'll probably add more energy cubes and more uh, energy conduits branching off. Uh, and then if we look over here, it's kind of like these telephone wires. It's energy conduit leading over here and then leading downwards uh, along with a fluid conduit uh, leading into these open block tanks. These open block tanks are going to be filled with uh, deuterium, which I have in my hand. I have uh, a little less than four drums right now. Of them, uh, these are going to be filled with deuterium. It is going to pump in through the top, as you can see, it has the arrows going in, and then pump out through the bottom right there. This, I have uh, four of those, four of those tanks set up, and then this power, um, it's branched off just for the sake of uh, balance. Um, it, it's actually only using one of these. So if we, where's, uh, here's the entrance. Oh, and then also this is a uh, Mars stone. It's from Mars. Uh, it's for this cobblestone. You cook it, and it gets this really uh, nice deep red. That's what I'm using for the walkways here. Um, if we go down here, this is the setup that I have. These are the uh, chemical extractors that are currently making deuterium. It's going to lead to these pipes, which go in to those tanks, and it leads up through the middle. And the thing that I did with those tanks, I don't know if you can see it, is I made it so none of the pipes connected in the middle. It only goes to the top and bottom, which was a pain, but hey, it looks better. So and then it uh, gets pumped out through the bottom. And then right here, these are uh, the co there's conduits leading all the way through here. It's also connecting here. These are facades, which you can use to uh, disguise conduits within blocks. So it's really nice. I think, yeah, so it's a, it's a solid block too. Uh, the This one is leading out, so Wait, that's, oh yeah, then it's, so out is inside the floor right here, so output, and then it's leading to the reactor there, reactor here, and then it also loops around the corner, and it's going through here as well, and then going to the reactor over there. Uh, input is going from here, we'll, we'll be going from here to there and there, and then oh, this side to there and there. So let's go ahead and actually get these drums, actually, you know what, we'll just put these drums one, two, three, four, and then see if we can't. Crap, I can't see. Hold on, you know what? Let's do. Can't see the facades, and you have to oh, turn the magnet on. Oh, alright, I filled up the drum. We'll just do them right here. Hopefully, the uh, plasma won't melt them, but, uh, you know, whatevs. Two, three, four. Let's go ahead and just do extract always, extract always, extract always, and extract always. Get this hooked up to that stuff. Oop. Then oop. that and okay, good. So those are connected to there. Now all we need to do is just 
I still have a way out. Yeah, the way out. Okay, good. Way out is right there. So if we put a one there and then get these connected, so it should be. Nope. 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 No. 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 Shit. Hold on. Hold on. Um. What? Why? Why is this not connecting now? Okay, so, okay, so that one's connecting. That's that's sucking out. Why? No, you. God damn it. Okay, F motherfucker. Let's do this. That you are going to extract always. We have that going, and then. Oh god damn it. And then. To that, 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 that. Nope. Son of a bitch. Ah. Uh. Hold on, let's just fucking motherfucker. Okay, let's try this again. Do, 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 do. Those are connected, and then do. That, and then that, that. Okay, so those are connected. Why is this so goddamn? Extract always, extract always, extract always, extract always, and. Oh. God damn it. Extract always. Okay, and then we can do. No. Shit. That goes there, and then. Two. Hey, there we go. Okay, so now it's pumping out. It should, ooh, a little bit of a frame drop there. Nothing to worry about. Now it should be filling these tanks. Oh, and I was filling the reactors first. So this one is getting, uh, that looks full. Yeah, that one's full. Do, do, do. This one is, should be full. Yeah, that one's full. And then that one is full as well. So tanks should be filling. There we go. Okay, so now the tanks are filling up with deuterium. That means we have extra block or uh, extra deuterium pumping out. There we go. Now we can go ahead and start these reactors again. Let's go ahead and get them. I'm just going to start them one at a time, and they should be able to maintain themselves afterwards. Need f that's not even close. I said you need a uh, 50,000 kilojoules to get them started. So okay, okay, good. Now there's plasma starting. This is, of course, it uses the portal texture, so we have some nice Nyan Cat around here. Here, that nice sizzle. Like that. Plasma. Good, good. Plasma is going around. That is starting. And then we should be able to connect that and that, because I think it's connecting to this reactor. Okay, so you are. Are you still outputting? Point one, MJ. Point zero nine. So I don't know if this one is started yet. Let's just go ahead and assume it is. Middle reactor, you are up next. Get reactor two running. Uh, should okay. So is that nine or yeah, ninety-eight, whatever. Plasma is pumping out, making steam. Should be able to hear the turbines running. Here's the exit. Just go ahead and double check. Uh, multimeter, get you out. Let's just go ahead and see. Ooh. Uh, power going through here is 14,000 for this one. So these should be charging up. 14,000 seems a bit low. Yeah, so these are charging up, even though it's not connected anymore. This one you are pumping out 35. Oh, oh right, these energy cells are already full. So it's only taking. What, what's the reactor taking? 40? 40, 40 RF per tick. This thing's putting out close to 20,000. So that's how negligible the reactor is. Even though, no, the reactor's not even pulling. And then this one, we can go ahead and start that. Uh, yeah. Hindsight, I should have made this three tall, because then I have to, like, finagle my way around here. Okay, so that one, middle reactor is running now. Drums, oh wow, drums are already empty. And... This one's going to get running. 
Okay, good. Now it's making some Nyan Cat. Okay, so these drums already uh, drained out really fast. <laughs> I thought uh, four drums was going to be a lot. Turns out it's not. Especially with the capacity of the stuff that I have here. So, okay, and then these are going to make deuterium. You only need one per reactor. So, and even then it still produces extra. So we will be getting a lot extra and these will, this will all fill up. So those tanks, should, they looked about half full last time I looked at them. So this one should be running. Let's go ahead and go up and check the power on them. And also if you have like a enter, uh, enter IO thing in your hand, then the uh, facades become, oop. Uh, invisible, so you can see where they are. So you go like that, gone. Doop, doop, doop. It's just a cool little feature. Okay, so we have that. Uh, which one were you testing? This one? No. Okay, that's putting out 10,000. Uh, 14,000, 12,000, 13. I feel like I didn't connect these properly. They're all connected, right? Yeah, that one's going there. Okay, well, uh, conduit storage is filling up those first, and then conduit storage will... Oh, cannot receive. I forgot that's the output side, so... Internal buffer, 51 million. Okay, so those are... Wait. Yep, so these are filling up. Uh, reactor is taking energy down there. Yep, so the reactor's taking that energy. And uh, so, good, we have three running reactors. Deuterium should fill up uh, all in due time. Okay, deuterium, due time. I mean, that's not where the entrance is. That was a terrible pun. Oh, God. Uh, all right, over here. And all right, so we can go ahead and remove the energy cube from here, and all three reactors should be self-sustaining at this point. So that is our energy source, all bundled up and very, very simple. Actually, just need this, some water tanks. Reservoirs are infinite water sources, as I said before. Um, those are all set to pump out. They're good with water. Yep. All right, so uh, that is going to do it for this episode. I did want to get some ore processing done, um, but the, again, my house is not set up for that. But I will make some floors, um, probably a floor here. Yeah, I'll do a floor here, and then it'll go to about right here for applied sciences and uh, input processing. So it's going to be like where my uh, reactor, tinkers, construct, well, not reactor, um, hadron collider, uh, particle accelerators, um, Tinker's Construct uh, chemical synthesis area. It's going to be from about from about here. Oh, no, from about here to there, and then um, from there to there. Uh, probably storage and machinery. So storage and production, and then everything else above is going to be living quarters, main computer area. I'm going to have about three or four computers in this place. So. Uh, living quarters, main computer area, and um, I don't know. Throw me some ideas what you want me to have in here. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Got three uh, very powerful reactors running. But uh, yeah, any, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.